But today, I want to speak to you in defense of liberty. where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters. But what you are essentially saying, there should not be any guns in America, period. That is, now, now I that is like the thing So the Jewish baker the should rain. have to bake the cake for the Nazi wedding. That's, uh, that would be my contention, yes. The government always looks for a political solution, folks. There's a political so solution to the problems that government usually causes. And I'm ashamed of you, Hillary, for voting for it. <laughs> Saying you're embracing expansive use of torture is inexcusable. So what would you do as commander-in-chief if the U.S. military refused to carry out those orders? They won't refuse. They're not going to refuse me. Believe me. But they're Let illegal. Me just tell you. The war, the war is something that, uh, as, as, as you pointed out earlier, Scott, it, it's something that should be entered into as a last resort, not a first resort. The unborn uh, person uh, doesn't have constitutional rights. Uh, yes, I do support marriage equality. And when you say get government out of it completely, uh, what I came to find out is that there are literally thousands of laws on the books and you would have to go through, if you got government out of marriage, you would literally have to go through and change every single very strongly in the right to life and we believe that those waiting in their mother's wombs to be born are, are uh, legitimate persons. Uh, I'm a Christian so uh, uh, you know I, I personally don't believe in it but I believe the government has no place in marriage to begin with. The government uh, wants you to buy a license to do everything. The next president may get three Supreme Court justice appointments. Look, it's an issue that's been determined by the Supreme Court, and frankly, uh, you know, I'm, I'm about jobs. I believe the Supreme Court's wrong, and that's why I would encourage the governor of Texas to just say, uh, your decision doesn't apply in Texas because you have no authority to make it, and you do not make law, so we will not obey you. If uh, God raised me up and made me president of the United States, what I told you I'll do, I would do, or die trying, so help me God. <laughs>